Hello, this is a Industrial Control Circuit Troubleshooting 2, 6 module. Now we are doing Genius Skill Test, test number 5. The work order that we received stated that the program 1 of the PLC logic diagram do not run properly. So what's the problem? Let's dive in. <coughs> By visually checking the external device and circuit, I don't see any problem from the control panel. And looking inside the control panel, okay, I find that the status of the LED of the PLC input and the PLC output channels looks fine to me. Okay, there's no issue, there's no overload button trip or pop out also. So it looks fine now. So let's run the process and see and observe for any anomaly. <coughs> So LED 8 turn on, it will follow by LED 9, then LED 10. Now ah, something is wrong. Because on when you reach 40%, the LED light sh or channel 9 sh should turn on only. Not LED 9 and 10 and 13 together. There's something wrong. So if we look at the circuit, okay. <clears throat> when the water level more than 1%, the level switch will be triggered to close mechanically. Hence, the current will flow into the PLC input channel load and energize it. Hence, the LED will turn on for channel 8. And the water level continue to increase until it reach 40% and above. This will trigger the level switch to close mechanically and the V plus or DC current can flow through this path to energize PLC input channel load at channel 9 and hence turn on the LED channel 9 only. So now what we see is once the water level reach 40% and above the mechanical level switch is triggered to close mechanically and the DC current will flow through this path path and energize okay plc input channel load at number nine however at the same time it energize channel 10 and channel 13 together at the same time there is something wrong this usually happen when there is an earth fault okay so where is the earth fault location can it be before the switch no because if the earth fault happen here before the switch or here before the switch or here meaning before even you started the process all the current will flow through this path and short circuit to earth there's no current will flow through this normally closed switch to energize the plc input channel load led at all because the plc input channel load having a high resistance of around 4000 ohm remember current always travel the path with least resistance not high resistance. So can it be the earth fault happen before this PLC input channel load, whether here, here, or here? Okay, now, <coughs> if it happen here, so when the water level reach 1% above, the, this level switch will trigger the close and the current will flow through this path, energize the PLC input channel load at number eight, and then it will straight away short circuit to earth. And we may observe this anomaly even before the water level reach 40% and above. Now, the thing is, the water level not only reach 1% without any issue, the issue only pop up and realize when the water level reach 40%, then trigger this switch to close. Then, this channel 9, 10, 13, Will start to have problem because LD turn on at the same time. So it means there's the earth fault did not occur before this load. Okay? At or at this point. If it's if it happened here, that means it already happened when the not even the water reached one percent. The current will straight away short circuit to earth. You can see some anomalies or strange behavior. Okay? On the PLC input channel LED. So the earth fault can only occur somewhere between here and here. It can be at the load 
after the load or even at the switch itself okay now we have to check one by one as i say okay maybe you ask me a question if there's a fault why the fuse don't blow simple you see this plc input channel circuit what do you see the power supply is from is a v plus is a dc voltage from power supply okay here this is a power supply here is a v plus dc voltage there is no fuse connected along the line okay this also just connected to the plc input circuit there's no fuse that's why the fuse don't blow at all okay and do we and one thing i had to remind you is there's no earth connected to the negative side compared to ac current for ac current which supply to the plc output schematic this one is a plc output schematic okay the neutral side actually connected to the transformer neutral point and connected to the ground side this one you need to take note for troubleshooting purpose okay now as we know in order to check the effort we have to measure resistance but resistance cannot be measured live so the circuit power supply need to be cut off and perform the lockout takeout and to measure the effort the black probe should be connected to the earth point in order to check the earth okay and also to check the earth fault or device internally short circuit both wire end should open okay and now what we can do i try to check this line this line and this line for any earth fault okay so now i can cut off the power supply perform the local takeout and verify local takeout is done properly okay and we, and as we know we need to open both wire and we not do here why this one is for the ac circuit okay this is for the the fuse is for the ac circuit which connected to plc output now the problem is the uh, input side which connected to the power supply dc voltage power supply dc voltage here okay so power supply dc voltage here so what we need to do open the both wiring end okay so if you see here actually you don't need to open this end you open one end is enough why even you put the red probe here okay the current from the multimeter through the red probe to this point actually can only flow through these two wire then which finally will go through the plc we go to the external input switch then to the plc input loads and after that come back to this wire end okay so the current will come here when branch out to these two wire and to here here is open circuit so is considered one end open circuit for v plus point and another one end is open circuit at the v minus point okay so if we put the multimeter we put one or the black probe at the ground point the other one at the opening end you should get open circuit if you get resistance be small or big that means there's a fault confirmed so this is not device having internal short circuit okay so now we confirm there's a fault and we suspect the fault is happened at 9 channel 9 channel 10 channel 13 wiring okay so as i said to check the earth fault or device international circuit we have to open both wiring end here we we'll open the wiring end here and here to check this one okay the strategy is still the same divide and conquer divide the circuit into separate parallel circuit the key word is parallel circuit then conquer it by checking the fault one by one okay here you don't have a parallel circuit because here we know that the effort happened somewhere between this line this line and this line so there's no parallel circuit just a normal circuit however the concept of checking still the same and we always start checking the effort before the load at the load after the load here we only checking here before the load and at the load not after the load because we know after the loads is okay and there here is okay so we open these two line hit this line already open so we need to open this line and this line 
and this line this line already open at the end because when the switch is set to remote the locker is is automatically open when this switch set to locker the remote is considered open okay so now i know that 9 10 13 okay plc input channel 9 10 13 9 is tb2 10 okay here okay now what i want to do is i remove 9 10 and 13 and then i was i shift my report to here it's more easier for me to do troubleshooting ah zero is we should get about open circuit okay for example for channel 9 or the plc input okay plc input channel 9 okay just like here here channel 9 okay we disconnected we put the red probe of the multimeter here so the current from the multimeter flow through here and flow until this end it should give you open circuit if it give you some resistance be it small or big that means there's a earth fault somewhere between this line okay now we know then this channel 9 connected to tb2 10 it gives you open circuit it means the circuit okay before this point 10 is okay now we connect back that's again stay okay meaning the circuit before point 10 here is okay no issue and this actually connected to where tb2 10 connected to tb44 okay tb44 the other one tb46 okay tb46 to this one to channel 10 okay so we can go to the fuel side open the box of the flow switch or level switch and we know this one actually connected to flow switch 2 which is tb4 4 yes it gives you 0 ohm or resistance that means that a fault confirm the earth fault is this line and this line under here no issue because just now we check here it gives you open circuit resistance which means the circuit before 10 point point number 10 is okay okay now we confirm find one issue now we proceed to do this one it gives you 0 ohm this similarly this then connected to tb4 6 which is a flow switch 3 okay supposed to give you open circuit why because tb4 6 okay the flow switch is open so the when you when we okay disconnect this wire then put the red probe here current from the multimeter will flow through here to tb2 11 then to do tb4 6 tb4 6 you see this from tb2 11 and all the way down here open circuit it should give you open or ol if you see some resistance it means there's a short circuit to earth or earth fault so now we further check this plc input channel load and number 10 connected to tb2 11 it gives you up that mean open loop meaning the circuit before that before point 11 is okay and this also the same but connected is still give you zero that means something is wrong so you open this one got resistance reading although it's low that means this wire is short circuit to earth how about 13 we do the same for this one okay for channel 13 plc input channel 13 we disconnect and we put the red probe here so the current from the multimeter flow through here to tb2 this is tb2 14 here all the way to lr local remote point one lr local remote point one this is for locker okay now because the switch is set to remote so the locker is open circuit so the locker should be open here okay you should get the open circuit if you get the reading register reading that means there's a short circuit okay now we can check 13 connected to tb2 14 give you open load or open circuit meaning the circuit before point 14 is okay but when it connected back it gives you zero ohm that means there's a effort so we know this one tb2 14 actually connected to lr point number one now he don't give you open loop if you give book open circuit that means circuit before point one is okay if you give you zero ohm that means there is a short circuit from this 
point all the way to here 14 okay so now we have to replace this three wire which having a fault okay and this one okay now you see open load mean open circuit open circuit it means the circuit is all right no longer having a fault okay now normalize all the circuit okay normalize 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 this one normalize and this one normalize then switch off the multimeter remove the lockout takeout turn on the power supply okay now we can run the process one more time okay when reach 40 percent channel 9 will turn on yes now 10 and 13 never turn on that means everything is normal Okay, pass.